Hi, I'm David Gundell, the author of a new book called The Last Days of the Schooner America, a lost icon at the Annapolis Warship Factory. This is a work of narrative nonfiction that brings together two completely different narratives, which normally we would not put together, but in this case, they come together very neatly right here in the Eastport section of Annapolis. We are filming today in this massive structure specifically constructed to house the production process of wooden warships. The team that worked here called this the Big Shed, but in reality, it was a cathedral of shipbuilding. The Schooner America was just outside of this shed. I guess you could say it all started with this hunk of wood. This old, black, pockmarked, kind of smelly hunk of wood was delivered to me about 20 years ago by an old salt here in Annapolis. Fred Hecklinger handed me this piece of wood and said it was from the 1851 Schooner America. He called it a piece of the true cross. How did Fred come into possession of a hunk of the vessel that the America's Cup was named after? Why did he have it and why was he giving it to me? It's a story you should look into, Fred told me. It happened right down the street. I began to do some research. I found that the 1851 story of the Schooner America was very well known. A hundred foot long black racing schooner built in Lower Manhattan by New York sportsmen was sent across the Atlantic that summer to compete against the best vessels in the British fleet. She won convincingly in a race around the Isle of Wight. Queen Victoria visited her for a tour and was impressed with her design, her construction, and her state of cleanliness. America's owners were presented with a trophy built of silver from Garage, the Queen Jewelers. That trophy today we know as the America's Cup. It's still competed for fiercely, named after the Schooner America. It's what happened after that where things got interesting. America had a checkered career. She served on both sides of the Civil War. She was a Confederate blockade runner and she enforced the blockade. She was a governor's cruising yacht. She worked at the Naval Academy training midshipmen how to sail and how to sail offshore. She ended up here at the Annapolis Yacht Yard in Annapolis during World War II for her rehabilitation said to be sponsored by President Franklin Roosevelt himself. At the same time, the crew of the Annapolis Yacht Yard were busy turning what had been a sleepy boat building operation into a warship factory. Very quickly in the months before and after the Pearl Harbor attacks, this facility became a very vital facility for the United States Navy, cranking out sub chasers and 70 foot wooden motor torpedo boats for the United States Navy and its allies. So we find the famous Schooner America, winner of the 1851 Cup, perhaps the most famous yacht ever built, on the same site with a fast, focused, patriotic rise of a Detroit-style warship production facility, literally right next to each other. Workers who in the morning worked on America, in the afternoon came into this building and worked on motor torpedo boats. At the end of the day, sawdust from the two projects was swept up into the same pan. How these two stories came together became somewhat of an obsession of mine, and I dug deep to find out more. Along the way, I was able to meet a few of the folks that were on the ground here in Eastport during the 1940s that saw America hauled out just feet from where we stand today, that saw the wooden warship construction underway. I was able to get their recollections on the record and into the book. And at the same time, I met many of the descendants of those that were on the ground here during World War II. Families who have massive pride in what their ancestors did here in Eastport, supporting the American and the Allies effort during World War II. All of these stories come together in this new book. And I guess you can take it back to this hunk of wood, which sat on my desk throughout the entire writing of this book. So to Fred Hecklinger, Thanks for bringing the hunk of wood by and opening this world of stories to me. The Schooner America story like we've never heard it before and the as to now untold story of the wooden warship building at the Annapolis Yacht Yard. The hardback book is available now online everywhere books are sold and at bookstores across the United States. It's also available in digital formats. Click the link below for more information. If you're a fan of history, sailing, or the story of patriotic shipbuilding on the World War II homefront, you will enjoy the last days of the Schooner America.